Calling all engineers, machinists, makers around the world. I'm about to post a video on manufacturing with expanded PVC and viewers will think that, hey, this is useful to help me build cheap stuff. But meanwhile, they will learn some premium skills of the future of engineering. I'll show you how to fabricate this panel within a millimeter of accuracy. whoop de doo who really cares? Almost nothing in our engineering world demands precision finer than a millimeter. This is my claim. That's ridiculous. Piston rings require microscopic tolerances. Yes, but the piston rings are for fitment in a cylinder. The cylinder is for moving the engine. The engine is for moving the car. The car is for moving the person. And if the person arrives at point B within a millimeter of deviation, it is fantastic. Everything that demands precise engineering is demanding a set of conditions, but those conditions were also engineered. We can re-engineer them now. We now have a world where the engineer has access to a mature web of knowledge, access to all the conditions beyond his desk. For the first time in history, we have access to see all the system conditions in the same 27 inch display. In the Western world, our conditions are nearly set in stone. If we want to implement the most logical updates to our physical reality, it looks like we're on the fringe. But I've been to a magical place where new developments are encouraged and logic overpowers tradition. <clears throat> it's called the developing world. And the engineers in this world have powers you cannot fathom. Powers come from a perspective which we can't access in the West. The engineers with this power, they can redesign the system. And they're doing it as we speak. Most of them don't even know it. I'm here so that you can help catch up to them. Meanwhile, I'm more than happy to wear the disguise of an engineer tinkering in the garage and helping you build things. You can join me, grab your cloak. We're all just tinkering, we'll say.